Hello, this is Gio, and today I'd like to talk about diodes. Now I have a bunch of them right here which I just purchased. I went ahead and pulled one out, and this is kind of a smaller looking diode. Uh, they actually get, uh, get quite a bit smaller than this, but also quite a bit larger. This is a one amp diode. And what these do um, are you commonly find these in circuit boards in electronic devices and what they're to do is they only allow current to flow in one direction and this could be very useful if if your uh, device only if you only want it to flow in one direction for one but it also can uh, be useful in converting alternating current or AC to direct current DC and so alternating current you get current going back and forth but uh, through this diode it only goes one way it won't let you go through uh, the other way. So I want to show you how to test these today. But first let's uh, get a close-up to this diode. I have a photograph here. And as you can see, uh, the photograph has a um, kind of like one side of it is banded and uh, the other side is not. And this kind of shows you the direction of current flow. So current only flows towards the banded side. And so here's a little drawing of a diode. Not very good. I'm not a very good drawer. But as you can see, here's the diode blown up, and here's the banded side. This here is an actual symbol of what a diode is. If you see an electronic uh, schematic, this would be what it is. And so current is only allowed to flow in this direction, essentially towards the band. And so uh, this symbol kind of shows this arrow and it kind of points in the direction of flow. It does not allow current to go this way. So let's just cross that out. So only in one way will current flow and uh, it won't in the other way. So the different sides of a diode has different names. The banded side is, is in, uh, termed the cathode side and the unbanded side is the anode side. Okay, so let's go ahead and test our diode. The best way of testing diode is using a digital multimeter. And this is my standard Radio Shack multimeter. A couple of leads, red and black. And it has this dial with a whole bunch of settings, voltage, ohms, etc. And what we want to do is just go to our little diode symbol. Let's get go ahead and uh, flip this over. And then I have this uh, close-up to show you what it, it's, it's like. Uh, there's also a little speaker symbol below it in my case, only on my digital multimeter, and that's for continuity, and we're not testing that. So what I need to do is just to hit the selection uh, here, so I get the uh, little uh, diode symbol up on top, and I'm ready to go. So let me go ahead and set this up. Okay, so I think you could see this. You could see the display here. And what I want to do is just take take uh, my diode, the band is on, on the right side here. I'll, I'll take my uh, black lead, my red lead, and just touch both sides and see, see what happens. So I touch it and it reads 0.519 volts. Okay, so that voltage is essentially what it takes to make this bridge. It's the minimum voltage it takes to essentially open, a lot of people describe it as a check valve. So this is almost like opening up the check valve of the diode. So after about a half a volt, that's when current will flow. And as a result of that, there will be, in, 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 the, in this particular diode and all diodes, there will be a voltage drop associated with using the diode. So let's say you start with a five, a five volt potential. When you use a diode with a half a volt uh, uh, check valve, uh, your voltage drop will drop by about a, a half a volt, so about four and a half volts uh, remaining. So just keep that in mind when using uh, diodes. So we, we go back and uh, double check um, the voltage, and yes indeed, it's, well, maybe it's a little lower, it's ba basically a half a volt. And now we're going to switch the leads, the red is on the right and then we touch it again and absolutely nothing happens and that's a good thing because this diode is good and when we reversed it we're basically uh, and nothing happens we're basically saying that there's no voltage going in the opposite direction 
So the uh, so when the black is on the on the right, the black lead, there is a voltage of a half a volt. We reverse it, and absolutely no voltage passes. So this is a good diode. Now, if we did get a, a voltage the opposite directions by switching the leads, um, so we're getting voltage in both direction, that would m mean that this uh, this diode is bad. There must be a short in the diode, and that means it's bad. Also, if perhaps you get a half a volt in one direction, in the other uh, direction you get maybe a low voltage, that means there's, it's also bad. Um, or if you get true continuity between it, uh, so there's really no resistance, that means this diode is bad. So that's how you test a diode. You just want to see that voltage in one direction and not the other. And just, just uh, as a note, you want to take these diodes out of your circuit boards before you test them. Uh, most of the diodes are uh, hooked up in such a way so there's multiple wires and different other components which are kind of ent entangled in, in the circuit and so you don't really get a true reading and sometimes you can get voltage in both directions if it's still connected um, in the circuit board so you really want to remove these either desolder them or just clip them out and if you're going to clip them you might as well just replace it so um, but that's just a note so I hope this helps you out. Uh, remember, voltage in one direction, one direction only, for a good diode. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.